everybody, Hood and Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's been a while since we've done one of these midweek videos, and I just kind of miss doing it, so I thought I would throw a quick shot up for you. Also, we've looked at a lot of late 80s and 90s figures, so I wanted to go back to 1982 and look at a figure from the first series of three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe figures that I've not done a full review of. This is Zap, the Bazooka Soldier from 1982. I have the 1982 straight arm version and the 1983 swivel arm version. Now this figure hasn't gotten a full review yet and it may take a while to do that because I have some decisions to make before this is ready to review. The problem with this figure is in the plastic. This light green plastic was some of the most fragile plastic they ever used on a G.I. Joe toy. It is almost impossible to find a zap, especially a straight arm zap, that is unbroken. The hands on my straight arm zap are broken. I would normally really like to have an intact figure for the full review. However, unbroken straight arm zap action figures have become so rare that the prices on them have really skyrocketed. He had accessories variants and those accessories were also made in that light green plastic, so they were fragile as well. He had three versions of his bazooka, the thick handle version and the thin handle version and the two handle version. Now I have the thick handle version of the bazooka intact, it is fine, but the only example I have of the thin handle version uh, has the sight broken off, and the two handle version, I have the front handle broken off of this one, this one has both handles, but it has the back end of it broken off. So I have the accessories variants, but those accessories are broken. On my straight arm zap, he also has a thick handle bazooka, but since I can't put it in his hands, I've just used mounting putty to stick it to his backpack. Zap also came with a helmet and a backpack. This is probably the most frustrating figure to collect from that 1982 series. The figure itself is rather plain. It has no no original parts. It is done entirely in that light green plastic and that color is okay but not the best. It reuses the same head as the 1982 Grunt and Grand Slam but this figure has black hair instead of brown hair. I think I will have plenty to say about this figure when I review it but it was not my favorite figure from that year by any stretch. I can't really even do anything with this figure. I can't put it on a figure stand because that will crack the heels. I can't put the accessories in the hands because that will break the thumb off. This figure has some merit and I do look forward to reviewing it, but I have to decide if I want to find an intact figure and intact accessories variants. I'm not sure. This figure will get a full review someday, but for now that's just a quick look at the 1982 Bazooka Soldier Zap. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a full review going up this Sunday. I hope you stick around for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.